you went from a hundred percent owner to a percentage owner now, mm -hmm. and but you're still running everything. And I yes. think that's a little something that people don't. I mean, I, I did exactly the same thing. Oh, did you? It, yeah, okay. I stayed two years and had okay. ec private equity that you know. But it changed. But I actually enjoyed that phase of it because I I felt like I did it with less pressure. I didn't know if you had the same feelings or how, how, you know kind of tell me about how you think about that now. About and the what pressure is the day, of running it. Yeah, the it, the pressure of running it, and how does the day in a life look as compared? Is it pretty okay. much the same? So one thing that we had talked about before was the fact that now if there's a problem, <laughs> it's our problem not just that, that was just, a big one for my me. problem yes <laughs> takes a lot off your chest and you can go and you can bounce it off of each other and say how do you guys want to handle this you guys are the majority owner uh here's the new situation <clears throat> but so after the sale it it was a really good feel and like a milestone when that check came in and you looked at your bank account and you're like wow this is real yeah and you know running the business now day to day for us is it's the two new investors, owners, they live in other states and I'm running the whole thing still as is. Mm -hmm. it, nothing's mm -hmm. changed there. And it's really just a conversation every couple of weeks mm -hmm. that we have on Zoom and talk about how the business is doing and maybe implement new things and uh, to try to make the company grow. But uh, for the more, most part, it, it is more relaxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not all the pressure's on us or me. Mm-hmm. And uh, so that takes some and of the they, risk. And away. in my case, they brought a few resources. The pressure was the number one for me too. Yes, I, I always used the term, you know, because as as the hundred percent owner and the entrepreneur with with not as much financial backing generally, usually always, you're always like, wow, it's all on you. So the the fact I I really felt that too. The fact that it's like we hey. We got sued. We got sued. Are yeah. we this? Are we? <laughs> right. What are we gonna do? You know, yes. that, that's a. Yeah. That is something that's hard it's, for me. That was as much as the money for me. Mm -hmm. it, the the moment that happened, you know, I was like, wow. I mean, the money you wouldn't do it without the money. Yeah. But also right. the sense of that was really when I, <laughs> like you said, when the bank account comes through, is the only time I go, wow. I really did have all the risk in one bucket, didn't yes. I? Yes. But it took all the way to that point. Yeah. To see that. To see is, that. Yeah. It's kind of funny that it takes that long, you know. Yeah. But like you, you, you pointed that out before it even happened. Though you said that you're gonna feel that when that comes about, and and sure enough, when, when one of that the big first problems happened, I remember getting on the, the call and saying, "Okay, guys." How do we want to handle this? And you remember what that looked like before. That was you and Sandra in the kitchen yes. going, shit. Here's what's happening, <laughs> yeah. right? Here's what's happening. Well, what are we going to do? And how does this affect us? And now it's really affecting everybody. So, 